station. Inside this rocket, a small Israeli spacecraft is about to make history. Aptly named Bereshit, Genesis in Hebrew, it's set to become the first spacecraft from Israel to land on the moon. I've been working the project for five years. I joined uh, five years ago and we were dreaming about this moment uh, and it became a reality, so it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. The project only cost a hundred million dollars, five times less than GRAIL, the last U.S. moon mission in 2012. And if it's received help from the Israeli Space Agency, it's the first time a moon landing is mostly financed by private donors. The spacecraft will be tasked with a scientific mission and carries instruments to measure the lunar magnetic field, but it's also a source of national pride for Israel, which is set to become only the fourth country in history to land on the moon. The state of Israel is a rising global power, rising and rising, rising to the moon. This is a great achievement and it is very moving. It shows what we're capable of. Israel's attempt comes 50 years after the first American astronauts set foot on the lunar surface. And if space agencies have since set their sights on bigger targets such as Mars, the small Earth satellite could become a new status symbol for emerging superpowers. After China last month and now Israel, India and Japan have announced plans to become the fifth and sixth countries respectively to land on the moon.